Hey guys, welcome back to Backyard Demolition. Got another review for you today. Uh, another present for my wife. It's a new Birdie Cattleman II. Um, real pretty gun. Uh, it's a, a replica of the original Colt uh, 45 um, 1873 uh, single action revolver. And uh, yeah, it's got some fun features about it. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. Alright folks, so here it is, the Roberti Cattleman II. It, uh, like I said, it's, the, uh, it's modeled after the, the uh, 1873 uh, Colt single action revolver. Um, it was actually used by outlaws, it was used by uh, lawmen, and then you know, it became standard issue in 1873 for the, uh, for the military, for the army. So, hence the name 1873 Army single action revolver. Uh, or SS SAA single action army revolver. Um, it is six shot. It's got a uh, beautiful wood handle. If you can see that, it's got a uh, I believe that's colored case hardened uh, frame. It's got a blued barrel. It's uh, I, I mean I've I've never shot like the originals, but I've held them before, and I tell you I think it feels a lot like the original. Um, again. It got windy out here. I got finally got set up and it got windy. So if there's a lot of wind sound, I do apologize. This particular one has a uh, four and three quarter inch barrel. You can get them different lengths. Uh, I just went with the four and three quarter. Um, you can actually get them many different finishes. Uh, you can get, uh, I think it's nickel plated. Uh, you can get them with engraved, uh, depending on how much money you're wanting to spend. Uh, slightly different, you know, you can get the pro grips and, and everything else. So if you go on the Uberti website, there's actually several different options you can choose from. Um, I can't remember, so these have a fixed firing pin attached to the hammer. I don't know if they have, actually that, uh... nope, this is not fixed. Well, it is, but if you can see, slightly that it's slightly retractable I don't know if you can actually see that in the footage there um, the main reason for that is a lot of times back in the day they would only load five shots in there because if you load all six and then you're you know they get it ready and then you lower that hammer on the back of a primer there's a good chance if you bumped it that it go off now if it's in your holster pointing at your leg obviously that's not a good thing so um, that's one of the safety features. Plus, the other thing, there's a thing called half cock. So when it's that first click, you can't pull the trigger at this point. That's what allows the cylinder to turn free. So, um, but again, don't ever rely on that as your uh, your safety mechanism. Um, just always handle it responsibly, like any other gun. Um, this isn't something I would recommend for concealed carry. If it's home defense and you kept it in a holster and you only brought it out in case something happened, you know, it might be okay. But at that point, you know, you'd be better off with, you know, probably a semi-automatic or something, something a little different. Um, this is not quick to load or unload. Um, it's not, it doesn't have the kick out cylinder where you can just shake all the bolts out and then throw, you know, quick, uh, quick load uh, mag loader in there or cylinder loader. But, um, but for shooting down range and just getting out and feeling a little old westerny, it's actually a pretty good gun. They uh, come chambered in I think 357. Uh, this one's a 45 long Colt, and uh, it might come in a different caliber. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, I know I, I do believe 357, and then uh, Colt 40, Colt 45. So this is also very similar, different brand, and I can't remember the brand, but the same style of uh, Western style revolver that was used in the infamous uh, Alec Baldwin incident on set, um, where apparently he claims that he didn't pull the trigger or whatever. Uh, it's it's not, it, it's hard to say. I mean, accidents do happen. That's why you always practice safety. Um, never point a gun loaded or unloaded. Definitely not loaded, but you know, even if you suspect that it's unloaded, never point it at a person. Um, 
I, I understand that they're set. Uh, it, it was a movie set and uh, there's a lot of failures that took place there. But nonetheless, this is the style gun um, that was used. Uh, some of the cool features about this gun is like it, when you go to release uh, or when you go to clean it, it does have a uh, spring-loaded pin. You push that in, pulls the cylinder retainer out, and then once you open the gate on this side, then the cylinder comes out. You can take it, clean it out, clean down the barrel and everything else. Then you just put it right back together. Put your pin down through the middle. Push your spring-loaded button in there. I hope I'm getting this on camera. You gotta line up your cylinder. And that goes right back in. And then you're, you're ready to go. Let's see, it's got a uh, plunger style extractor. So when you go to empty your shells, you go half cock so you can turn your cylinder. And then when you line it up, use the plunger. And the plunger is on this side. And you just kick out your shell, turn your cylinder one, plunge it, plunge it, and you do that until they're all gone. Then you turn around and reload it. So like I said, in an emergency situation, if you're gonna find yourself in a shootout, it's not the quickest thing. But at the, at the time, it's state of the art and uh, much lower than uh, um, black powder pistols and stuff where you had to load each one, but um, kind of a game changer in the old west. What do you say we get set up? I'm gonna throw some ammo in it and uh, we'll shoot some, uh, shoot some at that paper target back there. So I haven't had a, a lot of practice with this this particular gun. Uh, I have shot it a few times, um, but the uh, I'll show you what the uh, 45 Long Colt looks like. It's got kind of a flat top right there. Uh, it's a big round, it gives a little bit of a kick. Um, so back in the day, like I said, you know, if they carried it, from what I understand, from you know what I read up on, they only loaded five. And the way you do that is you load one in the first chamber then so let me show you this here so when you load one in there if we can get, <laughs> can't get it right then you turn the cylinder and this one you would normally skip then load your next four and then once you do that then once you release the hammer down you should be in that empty uh, empty cylinder um, so I'm going to load all six because I'm just going to turn around and fire all six. But nonetheless, if you wanted to be safe, if you did want to carry it and you didn't want to have the risk of that hammer being right on the firing pin, then load one, skip one, load four, go through a full cock and release the hammer down gently, and you should be good to go. Three, four, five, six. Alright, so she's ready to go. I'm going to shoot a few, see what happens. Oh, that's off to the left. I'm hitting left for some reason. I don't know if I'm just holding it wrong or, or what. But uh, I'll show you how to extract these. Like I said, so they're all fired off. Bring that hammer back to half cock until it clicks once, your cylinder turns, and then as you as you look in there, I'm gonna push the plunger in and just pushes it out. So just like that. Now it's empty. Alright, I'm gonna pick up this brass because these are expensive. I don't reload, but I know somebody who does, so I'll give them to them, they can reload them. But let me pick these up, load six more in, and uh, we'll shoot again. All right, I got six more rounds here. I'm gonna see if I can actually get a little more centered there. Still left. A little better. That was a little bit better. Still a little left, but oh well. Like I said, I'm not quite used to it. Uh, 
I guess I'm just gonna have to shoot it some more, huh? Anyhow, so that's the Uberti Cattleman 2, 1873, Colt 45. Uh, again, good shooting gun. It's real pretty, feels good in the hand. It's a good solid grip. Um, overall, just uh, fun to take to the range and uh, put some holes in some paper. Anyhow, I appreciate you guys all for watching and uh, hope to see you next time. So like I said, I haven't tried it in a while and I don't know how to do it. And then I'm going to shoot this one to compare. 40? Oh, yeah. quiet. All right. Everybody, okay, quiet. quiet. Okay. Except for us. Yeah, we're the ones that are excited. Let's start this one over. It is one. I, I, I shot a bunch. He's going to shoot a bunch. And he's going to have a whole bunch of... Did that work out?